Kai J has just updated his La Portrait Comfy UI node. It's very impressive real-time video support like on screen. It also has vid to vid support like you can see on screen for the matrix. And that's not all. He has also included two new face detector models on top of the reactor node with licenses that allow commercial use and one that uses the CPU instead of the GPU. And it's really quick. As usual, I'll show you how to get these working on your local machine. So let's jump in. these workflows use ComfyUI. ComfyUI is a powerful and modular stable diffusion GUI and backend. If you want to know how to install it, check out this video on screen and then come back here. The next thing you guys obviously need if you've installed ComfyUI is you need the ComfyUI manager. And the reason is because we're going to install the lab portrait from the comfy ui manager or upgrade it so to install it is really quick and easy once you've installed comfy ui you go to the custom nodes menu i'll quickly show you how that's done over here and then you right click and go to open terminal once you're in this terminal you will just type in this command over here in the terminal itself and it will download the comfy ui manager obviously you need gets installed as well you can just google how to install that Once you've installed it, Comfy UI will come up, select the manager over here, then go into the custom nodes menu and type in live portrait. Uh, you should see three options come up. The first one is the one we're interested in. You should inst have installed that, or if you haven't, say try update. Once you've updated that, restart your Comfy UI and we'll be going through the three examples. So the three examples on screen, which you can follow on at home is available here and this GitHub, which I'll leave in the description. Just download these three JSON files and you'll get started. Okay, the first example we're gonna go through is a real-time example. Here you load up your image here. So I've just got an old man. Over here, it resizes the image, it gets the size and the count, transfers this to the live portrait process. Two different capture modes are CV2 and MSS. These are live inputs into your camera. This camera that's now presenting will be live captured through these two. In terms of the face, you can either have the Google Media Pop Cropper, which uses your CPU, or you can change it to CUDA or Torch GPU. You can also have the live portrait load face alignment, which is the Blaze face back camera. Just quickly show you so you go double click on that, type in live portrait over here, and then you can see the different modes. So you can see that the inside face cropper, which is the one we use normally, also has face alignment cropper. To get these working, all you would do is basically use the cropper and drag it into the cropper over here. To start the flow is pretty straightforward. You just load it up and then you hit the Q over here. So that's me smiling. That's me opening my eyes. That's me turning my head. Turning my head, looking down, looking up, opening my mouth, wider, smaller. The tongue doesn't quite work. Opening my eyes. This is the vid to vid. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is obviously that's the driving video. I put some video of Morpheus and the Matrix. Now, interesting enough, um, those two are quite self-explanatory. Obviously, if you want to extend it, you can increase the value of the frame load cap. But the first thing over here, I want to bring your attention to the inside face cropper. This was the default one we were using on the previous video. And this is obviously a non-commercial use. Kaj has added is the media pop cropper. Now the media pop cropper is using a CPU and it's really quick. It doesn't have as good as face detection as inside face, but it uses the Apache 2 license as well. So you can use it for, um, I'm assuming commercial use. So in terms of the, the running, you can then see the results coming through over here, um, which is pretty cool.
good. Okay, so this is really an upgraded version of the other flows I had detailed in my other video. Image here has been given and all it really does is, is do a similar thing where it changes it to mimic the source image. So I'll share this flow to you. It follows the same format as the video to video. Big thank you to KJ and leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want more videos like this. Until next time guys, keep safe and see you in the next video.